Good morning, everybody. This is Texas PW Fishy. My name is Jeff. Welcome back to the channel. It has been some time since I have made a video, and I apologize for that. Life events and the weather in the Dallas area have uh, put a little hamper on that. But starting them up again. Today I'm in Port O'Connor, Texas. It's the third weekend of May, which is Warriors Weekend. So I'm down here with that with my uncles. I'm out here on the ski doing some uh, preliminary checking to see where I can find a place to fish. So I've anchored at a spot that's supposed to be a old oil well. I'll put the location down at the bottom in the in the in the, com in the description whenever I get a chance to. Uh, so I got some live shrimp, and uh, we're gonna put them on the bottom and see what happens. So stay tuned. I'm hoping we can just get something today. All right, we're marking a few things. This new uh, transducer is phenomenal. The UTD54, I believe it is, the Garmin. It gives uh, side view and clear view options now. And let me tell you what, it makes a difference. So let's see if we can get something to, on that line today. Well, at least these shrimp aren't big enough to fight off the fish. A couple times I've had some that uh, you wonder who's winning the fight, the shrimp or the fish. We're supposed to be on top of a old well. The, the sonar shows a change in the bottom structure so that could be the rocks and the shell from when they poured the bed down and let's make sure it's not a gaff top that would suck or a hard hit and that's exactly what it is Well, the old gaff top. Ah, these things are slimy. So chances of actually finding other fish down here are probably slim and none. If that's the first thing to bite that, I might throw a couple more out there just to see what happens, but chances are all we're gonna get is gaff tops and hard heads. Alrighty, made it out to the big jetties. It's not that bad out here. It's pretty nice, actually. I'm in, uh, currently in 21 feet of water. Everybody seems to be out here on this rock, so I'm gonna try it also. And if I don't get anything good, then I will uh, go someplace else. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try a live shrimper. No, anyway. All right, we got a live shrimper on there. I might change the depth the next time I cast them. Yeah, he's gonna come in and we're gonna make him a little deeper. See if we can get him a little closer to that rock. Added about a foot of distance to them. Got something. Ah, black drum. That or a sheep head. It looks like a sheep head. 
and there he goes. I had him just on the lip. I didn't have him very good to begin with, and I don't have my fish grips here because I left them in the truck. So let's try that again. All right, so sheep hitter here. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. No matter what's there, it's gonna be put away. Probably pinfish got it. Well, something got it. All right. So time to head down the jetties. All right, I'm gonna put y'all away. When I get down to the next stop, I will take you back out and get you started. All right, I'm at the big jetties on the beach side. It's actually pretty calm over here. It's kind of surprised me. Sling this husky boy out and see what happens. I'm in 30 feet of water. I'm going to give him a little bit of slack. I'm going to give him a little bit of extra downtime, down distance. Let's see how much I can put down on him. Ow, that hurt. You did that intentionally, didn't you? got something it looks like a nice redfish yes it is looky there I think he's a slot too and there went my line. I really have to get my... I really need to get my uh, net. So I'm going to get a different setup this time. A little bit heavier because this one's a little light. And I know it is. Since I did not bring any line to make leaders with, I am going to 
use this as my swivel set up. All right, let's see what we can do here. The only thing different is I had a split shot on that weight, on that shrimp, to make sure he got down. Right, let's toss him a little closer to shore and a little deeper. What was that? Something big just swam by here a second ago. It looked like a red. And of course my rods are in the wrong spot. Let me see if I can take this and move it that way. Yep, that's working. Uh, turning the boat around this way. The cork's not straight up and down, so it's not on the bottom. It's not off the bottom yet. That was not a fish. And that was a shark I just saw.